Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be calculating how much time our music takes and we're going to be displaying that time onto the screen. In the previous video uh, what we did is um, we uh, had a button so we had this volume button that toggles so uh, and it also was functional too so if you press open and open some music, uh, we play it. We can then mute it and then we can put it back again. And keep on muting it. Okay, so let's just stop that. Uh, so um, now, um, as I told you, we're going to be calculating the time duration. So the first thing we want to do is you want to create a label for that. Um, so what I'm going to do first is, uh, first I'm actually going to collapse all of these because um, we don't want them to get in the way. So we'll just collapse all of the ones we don't, uh, all of the ones we don't need to make it a bit neater. Um, there we go. Uh, now it's a bit cleaner. So. Um, so uh we're gonna put a label and we'll keep on configure we'll configure it when we want to show the time so under our text we're just going to create a, another label i am going to call this i'm going to call this one uh what should we call this let's let's call it length label and then we can uh we can keep on you know doing this so we can put this there and also we can actually uh remove this let's make some noise uh because we don't need that anymore that was kind of like a placeholder or demonstration about how to put text okay so um i'm going to keep it like yeah so yeah we're going to keep it like that the text we're going to do is we're going to say text is whoops we already put text is equal to we're going to put total length um so that that basically means that the uh, we it ha it's not calculated. So it'll only start when we play our music. So we're gonna create a method called show details, um, and we are going to create that method under under our last uh, under the place we last created our submenus. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create the method called show details. And I need to spell that correctly. There we go. So um, we don't need any parameters. OK, so uh, what we're going to do is we are going to we're going to create a um, I'm going to create a variable called file data because we want to uh we want to access the file if we want to know how, how much uh how long it takes okay so file data is equal to os dot path dot split text now don't worry we have um we've got that uh split text method uh and we don't need two t's actually there we go so os dot pass dot split text and we'll just pass in our global we'll just pass in our global file name variable uh we created it in over here yeah so somewhere this um this we created a global file name hang on let's just search the file name up Oops. Uh, file name. There we go. So um, there's actually a few references of it. Oh, there we go. So here we said global file name. So yeah, uh, we said global file name here. Um, uh, so yeah, it's global. Uh, so um, since we have that file name already there, 
now we need to uh, kind of find out what it does okay um so uh what we're gonna do is we are going to uh say um a is equal to mixer dot sound file name and then we're going to say total length total length is equal to a dot get length okay so you may be thinking that's all we need to do but actually um we need to we need to actually um we need to actually display it in a way uh that lets us you know kind of do it properly so what we're gonna do is just so you guys can see i'm gonna say print i'm gonna print the total length okay um and then we also want to call it somewhere so i'm gonna just call this in um in our play method okay so uh right after here we're gonna say show details and it should work now so it's gonna work when we play the music uh so as you can see that's there but don't worry it's not displaying yet i'm gonna keep this open so file open or open this music So you can see that it looks like this. Okay, so that means it's about 60. It's about uh, over just one minute. Okay, so that that's not really clear. We want to display it in a format. Uh, so we want to make this bit minutes and this bit seconds. And uh, the way we saw it before wasn't really clear enough. So we that we need. That's why uh, this isn't enough we need to uh, kind of put uh, write some more code that lets us display it okay so what we're going to do is we are going to say mins sex so um so mins and seconds um, so basically, uh, this mins and seconds, um, the, we're creating both of those variables at the same time. We're going to say mins and seconds is equal to div mod total length um, and then 60. Oops, <laughs> go 60 so basically div mod it divides it so uh it's basically um it it's basically divide then mod so it divides uh total length um it divides total length and mods it okay so uh yeah that's what it does let's just see if we can get the proper definition over here so um it returns the tuple uh it returns the tuple so it's the environment is uh, div times y plus mod um, equals x <laughs> it, that's very confusing actually so um, we'll just mm, there we go so um, basically uh, as you saw we it basically returns a tuple or uh, so it that it floor divides um, the it floor divides um total length and 60 together and then it mods it okay so that's what it does <laughs> okay so hopefully that's a bit clearer so what what i'm going to do again is i'm going to print the min the mins and seconds okay and i need to spell that correctly don't i there we go so let's run this and yeah, open this up actually okay so file open we open some music so now you can see it says one minute and six seconds now that is perfect but we don't want to show the we don't want the seconds and minutes in decimal place in decimal points so we need to round those 
uh, so it's a bit clearer. So we're going to say mins or minutes is equal to the rounded value of this uh, minutes over here. And then we've got the set seconds is equal to the rounded value of uh, these seconds. OK, uh, and now again, we can print, we can print it. So print. I don't know why I didn't keep it before, but I just took it. So. So let's open some music. And I keep this open. Play. Beautiful. So now it has one minute, seven seconds. Now, all we need to do now is we need to format it properly. OK, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a thing called time format is equal to. Um, and then so time format is equal to we're going to create this as an F string. You can do it with dot format, but I like F string. So we're going to put uh, that to just uh, two brackets, two curly brackets. Um, whoops, why is this giving me an error? Expression expected. Oh, okay. We need, and then we need to pass in. Uh, we need a. Uh, actually, let's just use the dot format method because it's easier than. We need to pass in colon zero, uh, two d, um, and then. Again, over here, we've got a colon 0, 2D. And then we put dot format. We're going to pass in the minutes and seconds. OK, so that, uh, yeah, so now uh, you need uh, this 0, 2D over here looks very confusing. So I'm just going to uh, explain to you what it means. So uh, what this 0, 2D means is that um, so it means uh, D means decimal or integer or number or anything like that. So any sort of number, even a decimal. And then the zero two means it can contain two digits. But if it doesn't contain two digits, what it's going to do is it's going to put a zero in front of it. So that's very nice. Uh, that's actually really, really nice if you want to have uh, some something like that. OK, so. Um, so if we want something like time duration, it would look really nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a length. We're going to say length label dot, uh, not dot, sorry, length label text. So we're going to change the text now. Uh, did we spell that correctly? Uh, oh, we put an underscore. There you go. So length label um, text. Uh, is equal to total length and then we can display the um, time format so total length we're going to concatenate that with a dash with sp spaces on both sides to make it look a bit neater and then we're going to concatenate that with the time format OK, um, and then that should work. OK, we can take away this print statement. Let's test out. OK. Brilliant. So now it's actually telling us what the total length is up here. So that is um, that's pretty good. OK, so unfortunately this doesn't really work with an mp3 file it gets all weird when you try it on an mp3 file okay so um that is why we are going to use another um we're going to actually uh, import another library and uh this library is called mutagen okay so under here we are going to we're going to say from mutagen.mp3 
import uh, import in all caps mp3 okay and then what you can do is in our show details we can um, specify something for an mp3 as well so um, now we're gonna put an if statement here because we don't want to just make it work on mp3s because uh, Musigen doesn't uh, works better with mp3 because we only use the mp3 we only imported the mp3 thing so we only want to use the mp3 package when um when our file is an mp3 file so uh that is why we're going to use an if else statement so we're going to say if file data so the uh second like the second bit so since it's going to split the text uh it will be the second index so it's going to be the second index yeah um and that will be the kind of extension bit uh, so if this bit is equal equal to dot mp3 that means it's an mp3 file so for now we're going to put pass because we want to indent this one so we don't get any errors there we go so um now i can fill this in so if it is equal to an mp3 file we're going to say audio is equal to and and then in all caps mp3 we're gonna pass in the file name. Um, and then this is pretty easy as well. We're gonna say total length is equal to audio.info.length. Okay, um, so now that will give us the length, okay? Now, unfortunately, I do not have an MP3 file, um, but uh, this is guaranteed to work with MP3 files. Um, so, yeah, that's this will work with MP3 files because um, we, we're using the specific MP3 package uh, and we're also using audio.info length. So it will work. OK, so, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we're going to be putting like a timer for, uh, so we're going to be putting the current time uh, of the music. So when it is playing, we're going to put a timer that counts down from the this total length over here. Um, and we're also going to be using something called threading. Okay, so yeah, uh, let's do that. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe um if you have any comments or doubts please comment them in the comment section below and if you have any you know com uh, questions then uh you can also uh type them down in discussing discussion section so yeah i guess that's the end of this video bye